Now that you're familiar with the IATA code from the previous video, let's deep dive into the mandatory step for you to start building the flight booking engine. At the end of this video, you will know what step and which API to use to book your traveler's flight. To build your flight booking engine, there are three mandatory steps that you need to perform. So first, to offer your traveler the list of airline fares and availability, uh, the step that you require is a search. So in this step, before you perform this step, you need to let travelers to input the origin and destination with the desired travel date, so that in this step, you will be able to display the list of offers with the price. Once your user select the one of the offer that you display, you need to proceed the booking now. But before directly go to the booking, there's one step that you need to perform, which is pricing. Pricing is to validate the price. There are several reasons for this step. The first reason is between the search and the, um, the user select the offer, there is a possibility that flight price and availability may change. So you need to perform this pricing step to validate the price again. The last step is booking. So once the price is confirmed and if the user still wants to proceed with the price, you can proceed the booking step. So that was the three steps. So let's go through one by one with the postman. In order to demonstrate the API calls, uh, we'll use this postman. So in this screenshot, I already fork our develop a model for developers uh, collections and I already input my credentials in the environment and if you take a look the folders we have um, each folder per category and if you have a look the air we have created scenario folders that you will perform for the flight booking flow To achieve the first step called search, the API called the unit is a flight offer search. This API has a two method, um, get and post. Get is to obviously to have a simple search with the um, origin and destinations, with the travel dates and the number of passengers. And the post is to have more advanced search with the more search criteria. So in this video, I'm going to demonstrate the get methods just to have the simple demonstrations. So let's start, have a look, the search criteria in the get method for flight offer search. So here you need to put the origin and destination with the IATA code. So here I put the Delhi and London. And departure date and return date, we already hard coded in the uh, Postman collections, which you can check it here, that pre-request script that we already hard-coded that uh, once you perform without change it, the departure day and return day will be at, in the two weeks advance of, as of today. And the alert that you have to put the number of, number of the passengers and also the max is to the, for you to request the number of the offers. So here, just to demonstrate, I'm gonna Request the five offers. To request the API now, before I need to authorize. So there is a step zero authorization. So I just click send to get the token. And let's start shooting. So here I'm gonna request the list of flight offers, five flight offers from Delhi to London with the desired date or two others. So now we have received the result and if you take a look the details, so we have a meta, data and dictionary. So meta is to show you the number of the offers, so count five here. And the link is to self-link that you need to perform this link to get the same result. And before I go through data and dictionary is that, uh, yeah, we decide to put the dictionary for you to, um, to give you the more information about the response that you just received, for example, location code aircraft and the carriers and the main data which is the data so as you can see we have five offer received and each offer has the ID and itinerary and price and also the pr uh, traveler pricing information per passengers
So with this information, you'll be able to display to your travelers about the offers and the price. And just to demonstrate further, Postman has a good uh, features that you can visualize the response. So this is the visualization of the response that you just get. So you'll be able to see quickly what type of offer it was and the price. After search, as a next step, you need to do the price and the API that you need to perform is called flight offer price. And this API has only one method, which is the post. As this is to confirm, your, uh, confirm the price that you just received from the search step, uh, in order to request it, you need the response from the flight offer search. So here, as you can see, this is the body type, a body that you need to request. And here, that flight offer data is already hard-coded. So this data is already get it from the response of here, the first one. We, uh, we capture it from the script here so that you can just um, perform in the postman without any other just, um, adjustment. So in the price step, yeah, the flight offer data is already inserted, the first one. So let's start. Now we got the price confirmations. If there is a changes in the response, there will be message that the price has been changed. As we don't see the information, I think we are receiving the same price as we received from the search step before. So in this response, it's a simple, we have a flight offers. Yeah, we have a flight offers and the booking requirement and dictionary. It's the same, um, same structures. And the next step that you need to perform is the booking. Once uh, you come, you uh, validate the price, and once the user wants to proceed the booking, the last step that you need is a flight create order, which is here. We already hard core the also the data from the price result, so that you can just perform it. But just to go through, so in order to perform the flight create orders, there is also traveler information that you need to put apart from the pricing data. So the traveler's name and the, all the documents. So if you remember, we already requested two adult offers. So we have a two traveler's informations. And then I will try to request it. Now we got the flight booked already. So as you can see, we have an order ID, which is important. And all the flight offer is already there, same as what we have put in the request. And all the remark and um, all the informations that we have put is already there. And once you perform this uh, flight create order, the PNR, passenger name record, is uh, known as an industry, is already created. Now your flight is booked. In terms of the testing and building your application in test environment, this is the last step that you can handle and you need to handle. It. But in reality, if even though the flight is booked, it doesn't mean that passenger can take the seat in this aircraft. There's a last step that you need to perform with your airline consolidator, which is issue the tickets. So in the next video, I'm going to go through how, what is the differences between the booking and issuance and how to handle these issues with your airline consolidators. If you like this video, don't forget to subscribe to the channels and see you in the next video.